Pizza rustica is a dish that can be served warm or at room temperature and is good for breakfast, lunch, or supper. Welcome back to Serendipity's Kitchen. Julia Child, the name we all have heard of and who we associate with French cooking. She was not even born in France. Did you know she was an American? She was born in California and it wasn't until after she married her husband that she got into cooking, so to speak. When Julia Child was married, his family was very much into fine foods, and so she had her first French meal, and it changed her life forever. If you're looking for inspiration for what to serve your family or even dinner guests, I'd encourage you to subscribe down below to Serendipity's Kitchen. We love having dinner parties and celebrating special occasions, so if this is something of interest to you, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell down below so you receive notifications of when we have a new video out, which is once weekly. So in honor of Julia Child's birthday, which is August 15th, I'll be making one of her recipes, Pizza Rustica. First, we need to make our dough. You will need flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, butter, and two eggs. Lightly beat the eggs and then Cut the butter into eight pieces. Add the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt, and mix a few times till it's mixed together well. Add the butter and pulse 15 to 20 times, and, or until it looks like fine cornmeal. Add the eggs and then process it until the Mixture makes a ball of dough on itself. Then put it out onto a surface and knead it until it's a nice smooth ball and then wrap it in plastic and set it aside. Okay, let's see what ingredients makes up our pizza rustica, the filling. Okay, here we have our ingredients. We have one pound of ricotta, three large eggs, a fourth a cup of Romano cheese, one packed cup of mozzarella cheese, a fourth pound prosciutto, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, and we will be adding a fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper. So first of all, we're going to take our ricotta and stir it until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to slowly add our other ingredients and mix them all together. Okay, let's start with our eggs. These are eggs from our own chickens here at the ranch. And they're producing about 10 a day, so I have loads of eggs. Okay, we're going to add our one cup tightly packed mozzarella cheese. Stir it in. Our fourth a cup of Romano. So add your prosciutto and your Italian parsley. Stir it well. And then we're going to set it aside. At 375. Okay, sprinkle a little bit of flour on your surface, just lightly. You're going to split this up. You're going to split the dough up, and then one should be twice as large as the other one. So that's how big I'm going to do mine. Okay, and then now you're going to knead it into a disc and roll it out. You're gonna roll it out into a 12 inch circle for your pie plate. You just need about a nine inch pie plate for this. It's a very rich dough, very buttery. If I can get it rolled out without ripping apart, it's gonna be the trick. This dough is not your traditional pie crust dough. So don't be concerned if it's tearing. You can just patch it up later. 
it's just a rich buttery dough and so that's how it rolls out and how it is but just pushing it together works totally fine and then after you cook it it's all nice and firm and it doesn't fall apart it's just really extra flaky Using a dull knife, trim the dough until it's even with the edge of the pie plate. Next, you're going to spoon your filling into the pie crust. Okay, now we need to press this out or roll it into a nine inch square, approximately. Just however your dough is working for you. Don't like sweat it if it doesn't get perfectly nine inch. We're gonna make a little lattice to go on top of our pizza pie. Ready to go. We rolled the dough out and then we used a little cutter to give the crinkle effect on the edges. And then we just laid it across and then laid the other strips diagonally across. And now it's going to go in the oven for about 35 minutes or until it's golden and slightly puffed. Okay, let's cut into this. Similar to a quiche and could be served for breakfast, lunch, or supper, as I mentioned. Enjoy!